Hey, Shalom family. May the peace of y'all come upon you and learn to obey him. This video is called the Oath. It's very important. I'm going to show you some things concerning the words of Yah. So right now, uh, what we're looking at uh, on the monitor is the word uh, Oath. I'm going I'm to briefly go over some, some uh, descriptions of the word Oath real quick. So it's additionally an Oath from Anglo-Saxon, also called Plight. It's either a statement of fact or a promise with wording relating to something considered sacred as a sign of verity a common legal substitute for those who consciously object to making sacred oaths is to be given a affirmation instead now in the days so we're looking at this they go through these um, different ceremonies I'm going to show you some pictures right here here, let me um get there real quick. See, um, uh, 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 oh, see how he got his um left hand on the object, the Bible, uh, the man named Henry Kip, the Kissinger, and um, on his right hand with his palm extended um out towards the um the man he was uh, giving the oath by. See, and so uh, places hand on a Bible as he take a oath. Of office as Secretary of State. Um, this is what they do at, as well as the police force. I'm, I'm bringing it on video because I was, I was watching this um, sister and how she said she took an oath. She'd be on Facebook. She, she a police officer and and someone got killed and her son brought it to attention and it, and, 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 and it was tearing her heart apart and she was thinking about um, quitting the police force and, and taking the oath of, of office uh, um, with our enemy, uh, our brothers and sisters, uh, that um, um, the ancestors um, brought us to America into captivity, um, brothers and sisters, um, for the punishment of Yah. They didn't know we was being punished by our creator, Yah, but Yah allowed these things to be, and we met, we was put under hard bondage um, um, by it, um, brothers and sisters, um, a, a, as well. And so, when we, and um, see, I got a couple more pictures right here um, to show you. Okay, right here, they got the oath showing different hand signs they use right there and making uh, oaths of office. And, uh, see right there, they make a, a, another oath right there. And, and then they said they got another one, you make a hand gesture with um, your right hand over your heart and making a pledge of allegiance to America. As well, I'm gonna read this information right here. They got um, hand. Wait, let me go up a little bit. Hand gestures instead, or in addition to holding one's hand upon an object of a ceremony importance, it can be the customary for a person swearing an oath to hold a raised hand in a specific gesture. Most often, though, the right hand is raised. This custom has been explained with reference to medieval practice of branding palms. However, the practice is referred to in the old testament they call it, um, their mouths speak untruth and their right hands are raised and lying oath, Psalms 144, which we're gonna get into um brothers and sisters as well. And see what they got the United States right here. Open palm facing towards, see, open palm facing outward as a customary gesture in the U.S. when swearing oaths with clear judicial connections, placing one's right hand upon the left side of the chest close to one's heart is a gesture made while reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, see, as a civilian before the hand over the heart gestures, the Bellamy salute was used. Uh, I'll see on um, the um, um, pledging the legion, uh, loyalty to serve, uh, um, to uphold the constitution, to enforce the laws. That's what police officers do, um, brother and, 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 and uh, our sisters, and, and making their oath and, and promises that they're gonna comply. Uh, to the orders and instructions given to them by the United States of America, um, brothers and sisters. 
Um, that's what our people do when they join um, the government of the United States of America. So, um, so as we go get into this, I'm gonna go to Psalms right here. And that's my son here in the background. Uh, I'm gonna start this off with um, Psalms um, one, to verse twelve. At this time, this was a song of, of, of um, Dawid, the former king of our nation. Uh, let me get into this real quick. Uh, Psalms 144. I have to pull it back. So can I, um, okay, we're here. Get it to refocus, right? This page kind of torn, so bear with me, fancy. So the song, a trust, a psalm of Dawid. It said, Blessed be Yah. And you can see how Dawid get into his emotions right here, uh, 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 what he see and how he was being afflicted and troubled and he, he was making this um, prayer out to Yah he said, um, right here, he said um, Baruch, bless be Yah, they got little but it's Yah, my strength which teach my hands to war, see and my fingers to fight see, he contribute all this to Yah to give them this, this attribute to protect himself and his people. He said, in my goodness and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer. See, he made all the claims to Yah. And my shield. And he whom I trust. See, he, he put his trust in Yah, who subdue my he subdue my people under me. See, subject my people unto me. Yah, what is man that you take knowledge of him? Or the son of man that you make his account of him? Put this page together, it's torn. The men is like to vanity, and the days are as shadow that passeth away. Bow your heavens, O Yah. And come down and touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot out thy arrows and destroy them. See? Send thy hand from above. He's talking about his power, his strength, his might. Rid me and deliver me out of the great waters. See? He's talking about troubles from the hand of strange children. They got a J right here. Let me see this J. They got or, or aliens like foreigners. See, who mouths speak of vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. You see that? It's on the right hand of They lift it up in the, in the oaths they make. Straight allegiance and falsehood. He said, I will sing oh, a new song unto you. O Barah, the Creator, upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praise unto you. It is He that giveth salvation. See, it's Yahweh who giveth salvation unto kings, who delivered Dawi, His servant, from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hands of the strange children, who mouths speak of vanity. And their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as plants of grown up in their youth. That our daughters may be as cornerstones. Polished after the similitude of a palace. Um, let me read one more verse. That our gardeners may be full. Affording all manner of store. That our sheep may be bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our streets, um, as well as the oxen, brothers and sisters. So uh, keep that in mind uh, when I'm getting into it as I'm going to Exodus. Uh, we're dealing with the, the oath, the promises of Yah, and and this in Exodus six, um, uh, verse one to thirteen. This way you're gonna see so plainly that uh, in um, Mizraim they call Egypt. Kemet, our uh, uh, brothers sisters, is what Yah was telling um, Abraham his seed was going to be 400 years 
and come out and, and inherit the land. During the time period, the same time period when y'all will punish the Amorites. And this is where you see it so plain at right here. So let's read verse 1, 6, dealing with this oath y'all made to Abraham. See how they got the heading right here? It's in Barah of Abraham, Yishah, and Yaakov encourages Moshe. And he was talking to Moshe. He said, then y'all said unto Moshe, now shall thou, now shall you, see this thou is O England, and now shall you see, for the word you, see what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. See, you're talking about the people of Yasha, Yah, Yah, of Yaakov. He said, and Barah spake unto Moshe, and said unto him, I am Yah, see, he identifying himself to Moshe, again, in that statement. I appeared unto Abraham, see, unto Yishai, and unto Yaakov by by my name or identity of Barah should die. They got God Almighty, but Barah should die. But by my name, Yah, see right there, they got the hope, but it's Yah. Was I not known to them? See, that was the statement. He was known to them as Yah, the creator name. Right there, Yah, Barah, Yah. But right here, see, Barah, Yah, should die, Almighty. But they were known. To him by Yah, they knew his name was Yah, but he, he was identifying himself as Barah Shaddai, Red Dead. Verse 4 And I have also established my covenant. See what they got covenant. They got um, my covenant, they got F. Let me see what they got by F. Uh, they're not showing much with this, so I'm gonna go into this. And here's the uh, end my, uh, my covenant with them. See, he made his agreement, established the covenant with them. And to give them the land of Canaan. See that? And the land of their pilgrimage. See? Remember Abraham, Yishat, and Yaakov. Wherein they were strangers. So, and I have also heard the groaning of the children of Yashayel. Yeah, see right there? Whom the whom Egyptians kept in bondage. See? And have remembered my covenant. See, Nancy, he remembers covenant he made with Abraham, Yishai, and Yaakov. The promise. To get in the promised land. That's what he's saying. And he, and he looked on how Egypt, Egyptian kept, keep in bondage and have remembered my covenant. See, he has remembered his covenant. Why he looked on these things. He saw the groaning of the children of Yah, whom the Egyptians Kept the bonds. Um, this is gonna be a part two of my video cut off, fam. It said, and wherefore say unto the children of Yashayel, Yah, I am Yah, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretch out arm and with great judgment. And I will take you to me for a people, see? And I will be to you a Barah, see, a creator. And you shall know that I am Yah, your Barah, your creator, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of Egyptians, even Israel. And I will bring you in unto the land. See right there? That seals it, brother and sister, see? Because concerning that which I have did. See, right, they got peace where? To give it to Abraham. See, see, the confirmation right there. The oath he, to give it to Abraham, to Yishat, and to Yaakov. I will give it to you for inheritance. I am Yah. See, that was the confirmation right there, the proof right there that validate uh, 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 um, the claim, the promise, the assurance. Um, that um, they was the um, it was during that time period um, that they was going to um, be the inheritors of that promise and of that oath he made with them, brother and sister. It's right there for all to see. I saw something I want to uh, look at real quick. Let me go back up right here. And, um, it got um, right here by Sway got P. Let me see what they got by P. Uh, P right here. Okay, they just give um, see right here Genesis. 
15, 18, showing you on the proof. It get, it, it get no plain in the net, brothers. They even know that. But our lying brother today making a, a, a false claims, false prophecy. They try to tie in the captivity of the United States, that we've been in captive over in the United States over 500 years. They're trying to make it like 1619 to 2019 is um, the fulfillment of that prophecy. That's a shame, brother and sister. And less than only about 5% I heard of our people ever came to America. Um, brother and sister, that's that have nothing to do with it. This, uh, uh, if you read this carefully, you see it, it, it just crushed that. So right here, let me read this part again. See? And I will bring you, see, see what I did? He was talking to Moshe. He was telling to Moshe he, to tell them he's going to bring them out unto the land. In, out in unto the land concerning that which I did swear. See, it's over to give to Abraham, to Yisha and Yaakov, the three ancestors that came before them. And I will give it to you, see that, for an heritage. Heritage, possession. I am Yah. See the, um, what he told Moshe to who he was going to give to? Not to us. This statement wasn't to us now in the present time. That statement was um, for Moshe to tell the present ones that was in captivity at that time that they was the inherit to, to the ones that, who was going to inherit that promise that was given to Abraham, Yisha, and Yaakov. Plain and simple, Rick, for all to see. This should stop all the mouths of the lie, but they're going to keep lying, and some people going to still believe them. He said, I am Yah, and Moshe spake so unto the children of Yahshua, Yah, Yah. See right here? He spoke the words to Yah, to the, uh, to the children in the land. But they hearkened not unto Moshe. See, they didn't, all people back then didn't even listen to Moshe. He was telling them. They did not even listen to Moshe. For the anguish of spirit and for cruel of bond. See, that's why they did not live. They were so messed up spiritually. And because they were treated so cruelly in bondage, they did not listen to Moshe. So y'all called and talked to Moshe again. Says so y'all spake unto Moshe, saying, Go in and speak unto Pharaoh, king of Mizraim, they got Egypt, that he let the children of Yahshua Yah -Yah -Yah go out of his land. And Moshe spake before Yah, saying, Behold, the children of Yahshua, Yah, Yah, they got Israel, have not hearkened unto me. See, how then shall Pharaoh hear me when I am uncircumcised lips? Because, see, Moshe did not talk according to the terminology. So let me keep reading anyway, brother and sister. And Yah spake unto Moshe and unto Aaron. And gave them a charge, the order, a command unto the children of Yahshua, Yah, Yah, and unto Pharaoh, king of Mizraim of Egypt, to bring the children of Yahshua out of the land of Egypt. So keep that in mind, brothers and sisters, what I'm showing you, what I'm giving you. Yah gave, even though Moshe was saying what he was saying, and was telling Yah, uh, um, uh, the children of, of Yahshua, Yah, Yah, not listening to me. Uh, and Yah still told him anyway. I'm going to give you this order uh, uh, to, uh, to tell the children of, of Yahshua Yah, Yah this and tell the Pharaoh this and then Yah, you read the rest Yah say he's going to work his power, his signs and then and that's why by force our people got laid out of that land by Moshe they didn't go by this Moshe uh, words just like you don't listen to me talk to you now when I tell you I'm the Messiah you don't um, really just jump because I'm saying I'm the Messiah and you read Yah words to obey Yah Moshe get came with Yah words, uh, uh, without a book, and, and, and he came audibly talking to them, and, and talking to the leader and tell them, and the leaders of the people did not listen to Moshe at that time, not until they were forced out, and then they know Yah was truly with Moshe. Moshe showed, had to show them signs, Yah. All y'all should know that who read the uh, writings of, uh, in the words of Yah. What went down in that situation, brothers and sisters? Uh, uh, they did not just hearken to Moshe like that. Y'all had to uh, uh, cause things to affect them and, 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 and affect um, 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 
uh, uh, Mizraim, uh, Mizraim people or uh, knights or Egyptians to uh, to release our people. And Pharaoh did by force and, and rushed them out there before the, um, they had um, leavened bread. Uh, bro, just everything like the father said on uh, uh, um, brothers and sisters. And that's how they went out with Moshe. They didn't get, go out with Moshe in, in, in love and fashion and, and, and trust in Moshe. That's why they gave Moshe hell all the way through until Moshe got angry. And, and he sinned, sinned against y'all and never made it to the promised land with them. And y'all chose his successor, his servant, um, brother and sister. That's how they went down, brother and sister. So I was showing you something about an oath and how uh, uh, oaths came and how um, um, our enemy, um, our people make oaths with, um, with the enemy to turn against their own nation, brothers and sisters, and, 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 and love the enemy more than they love their own creator, um, brothers and sisters. Because our people broke the oath that we made with Yah. Uh, to keep y'all, um, to keep y'all law, statute, and judgment from the wilderness, um, brother and sister, when Moshe led them into the wilderness, and they, uh, y'all first gave our nation the, the covenant to keep, to guide our nation, to keep us in, um, in, in perfect peace with y'all, in unity with it, y'all, and, 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 and to inherit the promised land. That's how we got the prom promised land, um, land that he promised, um, Abraham, Yishak, and Yaakov. And these things you must take the heart. Uh, brother, knowing that our uh, genesis already been fulfilled in the United, um, United States, uh, 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 captivity and uh, all the other captivities all over the earth had nothing to do with, with that time period back then. That been fulfilled plainly and simple. And you can see that written in Exodus um, 6 in the word that Yah spoke to Moshe. And Moshe heard it and then took it to the people. And the people um, rejected Moshe. They did not listen to Moshe. Um, brother and sister, to all the events that had to take place and signs and wonders and plagues y'all inflicted uh, to the point of killing the firstborn. And at that time, that's why our people got uh, uh, freed out of there uh, to go in eventually after the 40 years in the wilderness to capture that land and, and to fulfill the, um, the oath that he made with Abraham, Yishak, and Yaakov. With, us, with that, I say to y'all.